What is up, Fanboy Army? It's your boy Kirakai here once again with another thing, I guess. So today, I'm going to show you the difference between two very common fabrics and like the fabrics that you'll probably be using for your Spider-Man cosplay or just like a spandex or lycra suit in general. But before we get into it here today, guys, I just want to let you know only like five or like so percent of you guys that watch these videos are subscribed. So just subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the bell, the, the same thing, um, leave a comment down below and just uh, tell me what you think, what you want to see next, and uh, why my left kidney is stolen. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Now first of all, I'm just going to be talking about like a dye sub print on uh, these fabrics, and uh, so... Oh, this is kind of an important thing to uh, talk about here when we're talking about these fabrics. That way you know like why certain things are the way they are. So basically a dye sub, uh, what that basically does is it takes a printer ink and it actually turns it into a gas and uses heat to actually bind the ink chemically to the fabric. And so basically it goes from a gas state to a solid state. And so basically the dye actually like becomes part of that fabric. So that's how you get your print on a dye sub. So if you're getting like a Spider-Man suit or Lycra uh, suit that um, has that uses dye sublimation, this uh, basically going to be important information for you because if you have a screen print, that's just going right on top, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. I'm just going to use two Spider-Man masks to show you uh, the difference here. So here, uh, this one over here, this is the white fabric print, and this right here, this is uh, the uh, colored fabric print. Now, as you can see here, the colors of these are very, very different because basically this color right here is a lot more vibrant than this one. I mean, this one has good color, but you can just see like how much richer and deeper the red is on this as well as it has a better shine on it as well compared to uh, this mask. Another, and a big thing with uh, dye sublimation masks and stuff like that, especially like um, with white fabric, is that when it stretches, when it stretches, you get a whitening effect like that. But with a colored fabric, it basically doesn't exist with uh, at least the red here. Now the black here, a little bit, but like not much because again, the black is on a different colored fabric, which uh, which that, that gets us into like a little more of a con of the color fabric. So um, if you have a color printed onto uh, a color fabric that isn't like the color of the fabric, uh, it can look a little weird. I mean the black webbing here looks really good anyway So like nothing weird happened to this but like let's just say like you're printing a red onto a blue like a red Spider-Man emblem onto like a blue back It's gonna turn black because of the colors mixing and it'll turn into like a very dark purple to black so if you're getting like a dye sublimation like classic suit like the homecoming suit that I have I got 3D emblems on it, so I don't have to deal with that, so uh, videos like up here. So if you don't want that to happen to your suit, like at least with the emblems, then get 3D emblems, like just do it, and also just make your suit look so much better, even if you don't get a colored fabric suit. But yeah, as you can see, like the inside of uh, the colored fabric mask here, that's the actual fabric itself, and this is the inside of uh, the normal white lycra fabric here. So it's nice and white in there, like me. And uh, another thing, if you try and do a dye sublimation print onto like black spandex or like lycra or whatever, it's not going to work out in your favor because um, the black will absorb like all the colors and like whatever print you're trying to do. So it's not even going to really show up at all. If you want to do a dye sub on black fabric, you might as well just stop. Just, just get some help and stop. You're wasting materials and money, man. Save the trees. Hashtag save the trees. And usually color fabrics are a bit harder to come by. Like the white lycra, that's like your standard material that's used in most Spider-Man suits. They get off like print costumes, Amazon, RPC Studio, whatever. If you want to get a costume with uh, color fabrics, the only place I've really seen that you can do that is either like uh, only like very rare amount of suits on print costumes just uh, will have the option for it. Like my homecoming suit, I didn't really see any other suits that had the option already baked in. But what you can do is you can get a print for a Spider-Man costume, which I can, I can get you uh, links down in the description for some uh, designers that provide prints for costumes that you can just send but you can do a custom sewing service with print costumes and they will basically make any suit with colored fabrics as long as you choose the option and whenever you get like uh the 
the suit design from like a designer make sure that uh the design you use is compatible with colored fabrics because you just want to make sure like it can be printed on there no problem you know i'm very very shocked because i emailed the uh, rpc studios asking if they had like a colored fabric option as well for like this kind of printing and they said no and i was looking at their prices for die subs and i'm just like y'all charging a 250 for this and you're not even giving like a color that fa fabric option like dude my my homecoming suit cost me like 200 bucks and colored fabrics was a 10 dollar option <laughs> like i don't get it like rpc studio you're charging that much for a die sub yet you don't even have like the option for colored fabrics yet you use colored fabrics in your screen print suits for your rpc paint why i feel like i'm the only one confused by this and just like criticizing rpc studios a lot like they're charging like th that ridiculously high price yet you don't even get the uh, option for those colored fabrics which they can transform a suit completely like they will make a suit look so beautiful dude like and they again they don't give it an option with how much they're charging i don't get it but yeah if you want to get a uh, colored fabrics suit. I only saw print costumes being able to do it if you want to like get the design yourself They're not like that expensive to get they're like 30 bucks a pattern depending on like who you go through and that $30 is just like an average but yeah, I think colored uh, fabric should be an option on a lot more of these suits especially with RPC studio Heroes time even print costumes should have it on their a lot of their selection. So one thing that I thought of here while I was editing here is that some of these files with like the costumes and stuff on their websites, they do not come with a, a color fabric option in the files. So in order to do that, they need like separate files. So that's also uh, a contributor here. But some of these do have them. So if they do have the files on hand, I feel like it should be an option. But on other ones, that's understandable. But And it's only like... And print again with print costumes it's only a ten dollar option like why not go for that it it just will make your suit a billion times better well at least depending on like the print on it if it doesn't screw with that well like yeah i hope uh this video helped with your decision with uh what type of fabric to use again white fabric is completely fine fabric to use it still looks good but compared to colored fabric colored fabrics is just miles upon miles ahead it just takes your spider-man suit or like whatever uh uh, lycra suit you have to just it just takes it way up to the next level if uh the print's done right and uh, it's quality print and none of the colors get messed up hey i hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative helping you make your material decision with your spider-man suit and uh yeah just again subscribe turn on notifications if you like this video leave a comment down below um join the femboy army i guess we're growing at this point i mean a hundred subs in four months versus 100 subs in a month i'm just still reeling from that and by the time this video comes up it's probably gonna be way more i'm still shocked but so thank you guys for uh, subscribing and just watching these videos it just means so much to me and it's kind of helping me a little bit up here but yeah uh that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next one if i'm alive and i don't get hit by a car by a guy who's mean to me in the comments. Okay, bye bye. Love ya. Die.